What's going on everyone, Gourmet here. Today I'm bringing you guys a 433 that features two ROM Deuters. It's very different from what I usually do. They are very, very good within this tactic, especially with the striker role that complements them very, very well. Really, really opens up the attacking third, like, massively. So, you guys are definitely going to want to give this tactic a go. If you guys do happen to enjoy today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing is 100% free, so why not hit that sub button? I'll be linking the tactic in the description. That is where you guys will be able to download it. It will be in my Discord, so that is where you guys will have to go. So, click the Discord link. It will take you to where the tactic is. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So, I originally tested this tactic with Crystal Palace. I then tested with three other teams, which you guys will see in a moment. But, I thought I was tripping originally because Crystal Palace with double ROM Deuters finished in 8th place in the Premier League. Finished on 63 points. If they had a little bit more consistency, as you can see, two losses, two wins, and a draw in their final five games, that was kind of their story of the season. They were highly inconsistent. If they had some consistency, I think they would have finished in a Champions League spot with this tactic. They were absolutely unbelievable. They finished with 18 wins, 9 draws, 11 losses, scored 63 goals, but 58 against. So not ideal there, but if you are using this tactic with a team such as a Man City or a Liverpool, you're going to absolutely dominate the opposition. Now looking at one of the other clubs that we tested with, we tested with Fulham, and they finished on 96 points. Didn't end on the best form, but won the championship nonetheless, going back to the Premier League, while using double ROM Deuters within the championship, which is something that you would definitely not see in reality. Then we get down to Skybet League 1, where we tested with Rotherham, and they also finished on 96 points winning Skybet League 1 and using double ROM Deuters, using a ROM Deuter at all at this level is definitely unheard of, but they were able to win 29 games, so that's very impressive. And then the last team who finished on the highest point total was Forest Green Rovers. They finished on 100 points, winning 31 matches. They were absolutely unbelievable with this tactic. They were very very good. And showing just how dominant they were, for like Forest Green Rovers, they, they by far were the best team with this tactic. It blew me away with how well they played with the three roles that are in the attacking three, which you guys will see in a moment, because it should not work at this level, and they were absolutely unbelievable, because none of the players can really play the three roles. And they pulled it off to the extreme. I mean, they, they had 84 goals scored. They had the most shots, fewest shots against as well. Best pass completion with 90%. Most possession at 60%. Tackles won. I don't believe they were in, but they were in for dribbles made. They were in fifth. They had the most clean sheets at 21 and only conceded 38. So they were absolutely unbelievable as a team. Jamil Matt, who was the striker within the system, he had 25 goals. Assist-wise, Kane Wilson, who was one of the Rom Deuters, he had 12 assists. We were in there for most shots with Jamil Matt, and then Jamil Matt and Nicky Caden were both in for most player of the match performances. Key passes, Nicky Caden with 195, Kane Wilson with 122. Best pass completion, not in, or tackles won. Dribbles made, Nicky Caden and Kane Wilson, both in. Nicky Caden with 161, Kane Wilson with 159. We had the most clean sheets with 20, and then fewest conceded with 35 there by Luke McGee. So here we are with the tactic, Captain Morgan Rom, that allowed four screen rovers to absolutely dominate Skybet League 2, and Rotherham Fulham and Chris Palace to all do well as well. Now, the front three are two Rom Deuters and a false nine. The reason why I have the false nine with the Rom Deuters is because the false nine is going to drop in deeper. So the false nine will be around here, which kind of, they're going to play like an attacking midfielder in some ways. Now, the Rom Deuters 
are looking for space to exploit. They're looking for open spaces, open pockets to where, all right, this is definitely an area that I can exploit, get the jump on the defensive line, and we're in on goal. The false nine draws the central defenders to them. So the central defenders always having to wonder, okay, do I cover the false nine and then leave someone exposed or cover someone else and give the false nine the time to pick out an amazing pass and they'll be in on goal anyways. They complemented each other perfectly within this tactic because the Rom Deuter, say this right wing Rom Deuter right here is right here. The left back is right on him, but then the central defender comes to the false nine. The Rom Deuter is going to cut inside basically playing like inside forward in that scenario. And the false nine is just going to get a nice through ball pass to him. And he's in on goal while this Rom Deuter sees that happening. And he also cuts in like an inside forward. In my opinion, the Rom Deuter is probably the most underrated and smart role within FM 22. It is a very, very solid role to utilize. But getting things started up top, we have the false nine on support with take more risks. Both Rom Deuters on attack, all I added to them was also take more risks. The box box midfielder on support on the left side of midfield has take more risks, crosses aimed at center and moved in channels. The advanced playmaker on support, only thing that I added to him was crosses aimed at center. The ball winning midfielder on defend was left as is. Both wing backs on support have take more risk, cross more often, cross from byline, and crosses aimed at center. The central defenders on defend both have stay wider. And then the goalkeeper on defend was left as is. Now, this tactic is played with a positive mentality. You can definitely go attacking or very attacking or even balanced. Only go balanced if you are, say, a Crystal Palace playing a Liverpool or a Man City. Although, they did perform pretty, pretty well. When in possession... We play with a fairly narrow attacking width. We work the ball into the box and use low crosses, slightly shorter passing directness, and higher tempo. When in transition, counter press and counter and distribute quickly to the fullbacks and the center backs, aka distribute quickly to the defense. And then once out of possession, we use the offside trap, much higher line of engagement, higher defensive line, more often trigger press, aka more often pressing intensity, and prevent short goalkeeper distribution. All right, so now that we have gone over the tactic and how unique it is with having two Rom Deuters and a false nine up top, really, really helps exploit the opposition in a big time way. We're now going to see how it performs within the match engine. So, the Rom Deuters look absolutely phenomenal within the match engine. The false nine really helps exploit the areas that they need to get into 
The midfield looks pretty, pretty good. The wingbacks even crossing from the byline. That looked very, very important. Set pieces looked pretty good with this tactic as well. My elite set pieces will be with this tactic. So, I mean, if you guys want to download them separately, they'll be in the Discord as well with this tactic. So keep that in mind. But once again, if you guys want to download this tactic, it will be linked in the Discord that is linked in the description down below. If you guys happen to enjoy today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.